Mules football is back at home hosting the Northwest Missouri State Bearcats at Walton Stadium Kennedy Field. 21st ranked Central Missouri enters the contest 3-1 and one on the season, while the Bearcats are 2-2. Two and two. Less than four minutes remaining in the first quarter, Mules on third and goal. Handoff goes to Gabe Clark. He breaks the plane for the one-yard score. UCM leads it 7-0 at the end of one. Second quarter, Zach Sabrowski finds Arkell Smith wide open, 24-yard touchdown reception. Mules on top 14-3 with 11-29 remaining in the quarter. Smith finished with 153 receiving yards on 10 catches. Mules not done yet in this half. UCM bringing the pressure on Mike Hohensey, looking for a Bearcat downfield, but Shamari Reed leaps and makes a great one-handed grab at the Northwest 45. On the ensuing Mules drive, Marcellus Hawkins getting it done on the ground, breaks a couple tackles and fights his way in from nine yards out, UCM with a 21-point advantage. Right before the break, Hohensey's pass gets tipped up and intercepted by Curtis Appleton. Central Missouri heads into the locker room leading 24 to three. However, the Bearcats put up 21 unanswered points to tie it at 24 after three complete. Early in the fourth, first and goal, Zabrowski fires a short pass to Jack Pospisil for a six yard score, makes it 31-24 UCM. Zabrowski threw for 412 yards and two touchdowns. Five minutes left to go, tied at 31. Hawkins with the handoff, gets outside, rushes 30 yards to the house. Marcellus Hawkins rushed for a career-high 149 yards on 18 carries and two touchdowns. Less than two minutes remaining, Luke Dobson converts on a 41-yard field goal, making it 41-31 to Mules. But the Bearcats not going away. Hohensey airs it out. That would be a 45-yard score. Pulls Northwest within three with 58 seconds remaining in the contest. Ensuing kickoff, Bearcats go for the onside kick, but the Mules recover it. Central Missouri takes down Northwest Missouri for the first time since 2012 by the final 41 to 38. I'm so proud um, of the people in our football program and the way that you know, they battled through a little bit of adversity. Um, you know, we're still learning. Um, we're still learning each other. We're still learning how to, to put games away. We're still learning how to deal with some trials and tribulations. Um, you know, but they never flinched and they never stopped believing in themselves. They never stopped believing in each other. They never stopped believing in what we were doing. When they had every reason in the world to do it. You, you have choices in life, and, and they chose to continue to fight for each other. They chose to continue to deep, dig down deep and find some things inside of them that you know, I thought were really, really special. And when they had to make plays, really in those winnable moments, they, they made them um, you know, against, against some odds. And so extremely proud of the fight of, of not just our, our kids, but our coaches. And, um, our administrators and our support staff and, and everybody that went along with it. So um, a really good win for our program. It feels pretty good. I haven't beat them in a uh, very long time, but it just feels good to get after it and go got the dub. We knew that, you know, eventually, probably in the middle part of the season, that our running game would start to open up. And, you know, Marcellus is a very, very talented running back. He's actually still learning how to play running back. He played quarterback in high school, uh, but he's a tough physical downhill runner um, that can break tackles and then when he breaks those tackles he can get in the end zone and he finishes really well. I just try to stay down until, until it's my time to shine. My, my, my raw receivers make it pretty easy for me to go out there because the uh, defense is so keyed in on them. My uh, O-line made it pretty easy for me. I just want to thank them too. 